All right, welcome back. So I was way ahead of myself when I was talking about doing the attack because we have only add work run. We haven't even done the jump, jumping, but we can do either one first. Let's uh, let's actually just do the locomotion, and finish it before we move on to the attack. All right. So sorry about that. Let's go ahead and do the uh, the locomotion part. So we actually will have the jumping animation played when the is falling boolean is true. And that's because that's gonna be true when we hit the pl uh, the space button. When the character jumps, the character movement component, this guy will change the is falling to true. Okay, so here we just need to drag out and say a new state, and I can call this guy this one start or jump start. And then from jump start, we create a new state falling and from falling what we do is uh, a new state uh, which is landing and from landing we go back to the uh, add work run so we break the jumping into three different state uh, the reason for that is because the jump start and the landing there are some animation which is played once but for the falling depending on how far we're jumping right uh, how, how, far, how long we're falling uh, this can be something looping like for a long time if we are jumping from a cliff, right? So this is going to be something separated from the beginning and the end of this jumping sequence. All right. For now, they don't have anything inside, so I'm going to double click to open jump start, and I'm going to drag in one of the jump animations. I have actually a lot of jump animations, but I just need to jump start here and drag that over here. Okay. And then back here to the locomotion. And in the falling, I'm going to drag in the apex. That's the falling animation, actually. If you double click to open it, you can see it's basically falling. And back here uh, in the jump start, you can see this one is basically just doing the starting part of the jumping. All right, back here to the blueprint. Uh, the landing will be the jump land. Just drag it over here and connect that. And compile and save everything. Okay, now I get some warnings. As you can see, uh, those will never be taken because the can enter transition has nothing connected. That is actually what this is. If you double click to open, you can see it's, it's always false. So there's no way it's going to transfer to the jump start. We have to give it some logic to tell it to transfer or transition the animation from the add work run to jump start. And that's actually our is falling boolean. So let's just drag that over here. Okay, compile and save. Now that's going to guarantee that when we jump, uh, the is falling will be true. And that's going to try cause or trigger this transition from add work run to the jump start. And when the jump start is done, though, we just need to transfer it to the falling right away. Okay. In that case, oops, back here to the actual transition here, I want to say I need to know how much time that has remaining from the jump start. So we can tap, uh, search for time remaining. Okay. And we can say get the time remaining. We can do the ratio one or is this the actual exact number one. We can just do this one here now. So this is how much time uh, left for this animation to finish. In that case, what I'm going to do is, uh, let's actually say, uh, if this is smaller than a really small number, like 0.1 or so, that means we're getting really close to the finish of this animation, then just do the transition right away. Okay, compile and save that. All right, now back here, you can see we're having one lesser warning. So this is going to be automatically transitioned based on this. So you can take those numbers. This is going to take some time to take until you get the proper number. Uh, but for now, let's just use uh, point one And back to the locomotion, from falling to the landing, then the transition rule will be is falling, and the reversed version of that, so not falling. Okay. All right, compile and save that. Back here, you can see we have this only one warning, which is, you know, this one. And this one, we're going to do something really similar to the transition from jump start to falling, which is again time remaining. Okay, so this is going to be the jump land. 
and we're gonna say if that one is smaller than something like 0.1 or so which is to the transition and compile and save that okay back to the locomotion you can see everything is set up we don't have any warnings go ahead and let's do a play see now if i jump i'm doing this animation and falling down now this is not very good when we're falling it's it's keep playing that uh that falling animation but we wanted to just stop doing this looping right so in that case back here in the animation blueprint in the falling part i'm gonna say uh, i don't really want it to loop so double click here i can grab this guy and say you are not gonna be looping so check that out Compile and save back here to play. You can see now we can jump. She's just falling and goes down. You can see we have some problem with the blending. Uh, so I think the reason is because we're giving it too little time to do the blending. Uh, back here to the animation VP. Uh, when we're doing the jump start, we can either just turn this loop off. So this is gonna blend the last key. Uh, that's good. Or we can make the transition you know, I make the transition faster maybe. Uh, sorry, make the transition time longer. So here I can change that to 0.3 instead. But you know, it's 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 up to you to you know toggle those numbers to get uh, the desired result you want to go for. Okay. Anyway, so the animation is not the, the focus of this uh, this class. So we we're just not gonna tweak a lot of values here so I'm gonna stop the jumping right here and moving on to the next stereo that's actually when we are gonna set up the attack animation all right see you next time